I now write a column for the Gleaner and once a month I write in Jamaican and the abusive comments. Why is a Gleaner wasting space and this foolishness, you know? But they still read it even though they're complaining about it because they'll comment on the content. Storytelling is a central part of traditional African culture's way of teaching values, teaching history. You have the griot in, in some cultures, really transmitting values and telling children how to behave but doing it in an entertaining way. We have a tradition of Anansi stories. That oral tradition is still very powerful in a society where a lot of people are not literate. One of the reasons why some social groups fail is because the home language of children is not taken seriously when they come to school. I went to give a talk for Heritage Month at a primary school and then I decided it's Heritage Month. I went to give my little talk in Jamaican. The students were listening. They were just engaged. And when I finished, a little child said to me, Miss, when you're coming back? Because you know this is the first time any big person is talking to them like that in school. And that is why you have so many failures because the school system is not taking the home language of the children seriously as a language of instruction. But a lot of the primary school teachers are very sensible, you know. They're teaching in Jamaican even though English is supposed to be the official language of instruction because they know that if they talk in only English, the children will not know what's going on. The children know that they're not stupid. They know that they have talent, and so they will express themselves in the way that they know best. But they are not being nurtured in the school system. They're doing it despite the school system. A place like Jamaica should have schools of the arts in every parish, more than one. Because since this is our competitive advantage, let us develop it. I teach literature. Literature is about language and way in which people express ideas. And I felt strongly that reggae artists and the DJs are using language creatively. So we need to listen to them and study what they are saying. You know, universities aren't giving any money for reggae studies, so you have to be creative. So what I did was to set up this lecture series. Artists came and speak. Nobody not asking for any money because they are glad to come and speak at the university. We're happy to have them. And so you had a wonderful synergy. And I think that that, that is what motivated me to recognize that people have important things to say. We need to open up our minds to recognize that literature is not just about Shakespeare and the so-called great artists that greatness is right here in our own culture. <laughs>